Welcome back. My final tipping point tonight, a story we won't hear from the liberal mainstream media. They absolutely hate stories like this. A young man, a 19-year-old in Oklahoma, defended his family against assault with an AR-15. The young man shot and killed three burglars as they broke into the family home. Nobody needs an AR-15, liberals tell us. You don't need more than two rounds, Joe Biden lectured us. Assault weapons serve no other purpose than killing innocent children. Gun sense, people say. Why would anyone need an assault rifle? If there's ever a problem, just walk out on the balcony here, or walk out, put that double-barrel shotgun, and fire two blasts outside the house. I promise you, who's ever coming in is not going to... You don't need an AR-15. It's harder to aim, it's harder to use, and in fact, you don't need 30 rounds to protect yourself. Buy a shotgun. Well, with all due respect, Mr. Vice President, this young man needed more than two rounds. This young man needed an AR-15 to protect his home and his family. This young man didn't have the advantage of a secluded home like yours, where you can safely fire two blasts into the air, which, by the way, is an illegal thing to do, Mr. Vice President. Women like me, we defend ourselves against sexual abuse over 200,000 times a year with firearms. An AR-15 is a lot easier for me to handle than a shotgun. As a whole, in America, guns are used 80 times more often to save a life than to take a life. There are approximately 2,581,268 gun-related incidents in our country every year. Of those 2,581,268 incidents, 2,549,596 are self-defense. Only 31,000 are assaults. There are 80 million gun-owning citizens in our country. We kill over 1,500 criminals per year. That's compared to just 600 criminals killed by police each year. But what do we hear from liberals? What do we hear from the media? This, these are the ridiculous headlines from liberals. Man kills three teens with AR-15 during home invasion attempt. Three burglars enter home. Son shoots them dead with an assault rifle. You hide behind your expensive security systems, live locked away in gated communities. Most of us, we can't even afford. You're protected by armed guards, and you're fortunate enough to live in neighborhoods where crime is not something you face every day when you walk out your front door. You call for gun-free zones. You condescendingly direct us to vomit if we're assaulted. You ignorantly call AR-15s assault rifles. AR, by the way, doesn't stand for assault rifle. Liberals who know nothing about guns came up with that. AR stands for Armalite rifle. You stand on your self-anointed moral high ground and preach to us about gun sense. But let me ask you this. What if that boy had not had a firearm to defend himself, his life, his liberty, property, his family? What if he'd only been allowed by you to have two rounds to confront the three attackers? What if he just vomited instead? And that's my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us live here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.